Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. Today I want to share with you a top tip for when you accidentally get interfacing or iron-on fusible facing onto your iron. We've all done it. We've gone to iron interfacing or bondaweb or something similar onto our fabric and realised that it's upside down and you get that horrible, hot, melty, sticky smell and you think, oh no. I'm gonna have to clean this iron. Now there are lots of different methods for cleaning your iron and I've seen loads of top tips all over the YouTubes. Um, things like buying these ironing sticks and cleaners or using bicarbonate of soda or a salt mix, all sorts of different things. I've tried them all and none of them have worked as well as this, which is a fairly new discovery, I have to admit. So I have very carefully taken my iron and I have purposely stuck it down onto the sticky side of some interfacing and I've had a really good go with a really hot iron and I've got a really stinky melty mess on my hands let me show you all of that top part of my iron you can see is covered in sticky residue and interfacing and the bottom part of my iron isn't so you can see how nice and shiny and clean that is compared to the top here um, this has been melted on hot and actually as you can see the iron is still on and it's going dark now it's starting to burn and stick on and this is the point when you would suddenly realize oh my gosh I'm using my iron on my interfacing on the wrong side and quickly turn it off and let your iron cool down so I've switched the iron off and I've let it cool down. Um, I don't think you'll really be able to see here, but if you can, the top point, oh, there you go, if you get the light to it, the top point is covered in the sticky fusible interfacing and from the midpoint down to the bottom, there is no interfacing. Now it will be said, and it must be said, that this is a very old iron, so it's not the cleanest iron anyway, um, but in experimenting like this, I'm sure you will agree, even you wouldn't have used your best iron to create a video. So now that it's all stuck on and the iron has cooled down, I'm going to put the iron back on again and I'm going to warm it back up and I'm going to take one of these. A tumble dryer sheet. Now I don't know what magic makes this happen, but these babies will clean off all of the sticky residue on the bottom of your iron really simply let me show you so i've got a clean tea towel here just to protect my ironing surface and i'm going to take my tumble dryer sheet now these feel kind of greasy in themselves so obviously whatever it is that's in there or soaked into these sheets must have some kind of chemical reaction with the bottom of my iron I don't care how it works, to be honest, just that it does. So I've got my fresh tumble dryer sheet. You can see that my iron is actually smoking <laughs> from the tip. It's actually melting off the rest of this interfacing. And I'm now going to just press it down on the tumble dryer sheet. And I can see straight away that it's leaving behind. Mm. You can see this brownie burn sticky residue and I can get right onto the tip there look look at that can you zoom into that mummy look so that is all gluey interfacing and it is just coming straight off onto this dryer sheet and once you've got rid of it all I don't know if it's going to show up the light's not great in here let's come under here there you go look you can see that is now really nice and shiny and all of the sticky has come off. So I hope you found that tip useful. You can pick up dryer sheets really cheaply. These ones came from my local pound shop, although I have to admit they were two pounds on that magical things in this pound shelf are not a pound shelf. Always confuses me that one. But they are very, very easy to find. You can get them from the supermarket and they come in a pack of about 30 or 35. So you can pop them with your iron in your sewing space and they're ready to use whenever you have a melty moment. I hope you found that little tip useful. I will see you again really soon. Thank you very much for watching.